Okay, well, I guess I have to eat my words on this one. Fun little vintage bell. That's a pretty elegant depression glass piece. Oh, he's cool. Look at that with a little lizard going up it. What is this sitting over here? Just waiting to be found. All right, let's head over to the lamps here. I see a lava lamp. They did just bring out a cart of stuff. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, it is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Vegas, and I tootled around in the backyard wishing my tortoises would come out. We had one, we had one appear the other day, and then he got a nice long drink, and then he went back into his burrow. What do you do? Um, so we're waiting patiently, maybe not so patiently, but I did spend some time back there, and uh, it was really hard to say, okay, it's time to get to work. Now, the cool thing is my work is thrifting, and then selling the stuff that I thrift. So. I am at Goodwill, and it is the day after their dollar sale. It is the day that their new color becomes the 50% off color. So I'm here in the morning, not something I normally do, but we're gonna try it and see what happens. Let's get shop done. There is not a cloud in the sky today. And there are lucky carts. Let's pick one out. She's a roller. And our color is now green. I'm gonna hit the jewelry case first, just because it's brand fresh, 50% off on the color green. Let's see if there's anything that might have been a little bit overpriced that now would be in range what we're looking for. Uh, no. No, no, no. That blue is very pretty, but I don't think it's real stone. Those look like they might be glass beads. It's not a green tag, but I'm going to look at that. All right. Yeah, I am going to look at a couple pieces. All right, there was absolutely nobody to help with jewelry and they had a big long line of customers. So I decided if it's meant to be, it'll be there when I can get back over there and hopefully there will be somebody to help. She's kind of cool. 1962, she's kind of fancy. It is rumpled though. It's like a paper decoupage, I guess you would call this. And she has experienced a little little aging effect there so we're gonna leave her sadly because she's really cool I like her she's kind of cool too oh look at that little daisy's decoupage remember when that was like a thing oh, in 2013 though that wasn't that long ago Wow, how time has flown. No, I was getting a little little melancholy yesterday just thinking that my kids are almost up and grown and going to be out of the house. And gosh, it just doesn't seem that possible. So much time has gone on. That is a shame. Little hush puppy missing his foot. He's older too. I'm looking for like a mark. He's like a molded plastic. I bet he would be worth something if his little footy wasn't broken, but it is. Oh my gosh, I thought that was wood. It's not wood. That is some kind of a pottery and it's super heavy. What do we got here? We've got the uh, Eiffel Tower on canvas. It's going to get ruined. So let's try to save it. Let's move some of their merchandise around so Eiffel Tower doesn't get destroyed. It's a print, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a print. 
a gicle print, if you will. We've got some chalkboard cow and chicken. These are not old. These are like Hobby Lobby. Oh, it says World Market. 2014. Kind of fun. Not in good enough condition. If they were old, old, I could handle the condition issues, but they're not old, old. They're like reproduction old, so then they need to be a little bit better condition. Oh, darn it. That's a shame. Missing a flower. Ooh, $14.99. I don't think I would have paid that anyway. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Let's see. <laughs> Wine is the answer. I forgot the question. Okay. Oh, see, there's the answer. That's always the answer. I actually really love this. This one did come from Hobby Lobby once upon a time, but it's only $4 and I think it's beautiful. Oh my goodness, it's a Tigger phone. Tigger, Tigger. At least it's push button. Oh, I bet he bounces. I bet he bounces when the phone rings. How fun is that? Oh my gosh. He's 25 and he seems a little loose, so probably doesn't work as good as he used to. All right, let's turn our attention over here to their holiday stuff. Look at the size of that Sissel bear. He's in really bad condition. We have some, um, but you need to be in better condition. Oh, you're plastic, but you're cool, but you are coming apart. Darn it. 99 cents was a good price too. I'm trying to see. It is Disney branded on the bottom, but it's got a lot of damage. But that that's a fun little it's a fun little cup right there. Mm, let's see. I don't really see anything too exciting. Fun little vintage bell. Oh, I think this has been here a while. Yeah, it's the treasure craft one I looked at a few videos ago. Cracked, broken, chipped. Ooh, what are you? Oops, look at me dropping stuff on the floor again. He is leather. He is a leather wrapped zebra for $7.99. His ears are there. I think, I think we're gonna grab him. No angels were harmed in the making of this video. Oh, always look up. Here is his friend, the giraffe. Now this one looks like a paper mache. That one's definitely leather, but this one, there's like a paper wrap on him. I wonder if he's leather wrapped. Original replica skin texture. This was made in India, $7.99. Ears and horns, they're there. Let's grab him. Now this guy's a big ceramic dude and he's got a broken ear and he's just not painted very well. Like his face is, uh, I don't know, the eyes. If the eyes aren't there, it just doesn't work. Gnomes, ooh, she's interesting. Looks like she's made from some kind of a, like a lava rock. Oh, oh she's a candle. Wait, she's wax? <gasps> she's wax. How did they get that look? Because it, I thought that was rock. That's kind of crazy. She's vintage too. I can't do candles though. We are too hot already for candle shipping. Glass. Yes, it is. It's mercury glass. A snail in this little baggie here. Looks like a little hobby, a little hobby snails. All right, nothing in there for us. Little glass terrarium is cute. This is not high end glass. You can just see in the 
construction of it. Oh look, it did get etched though, 2013. Domsky? Domsky glass? Hmm, maybe I should look it up just to be sure. A few moments later. Okay, well I guess I have to eat my words on this one. It just doesn't strike me as well-made glass, but it's a thing. Now, there are no recent solds on eBay, so I'll have to dig a little more when I get home. It is $7.99, so we'll go ahead and uh, learn a little bit more about Domsky glass, I guess. Who to thunk? This is why you look at everything. a big fan down there. We've got some like, hunting dog coasters. Oh, broken. Broken. Makes me wonder, did that happen here on the shelf or did it get put out, kind of taped together with that one in the middle? Hmm. I guess we'll never know. And no, I'm putting it oh, <laughs> I'm putting it back this way so nobody gets fooled by it. Oh, she's got a broken hand. Poor little angel. It's not stopping her though. She's still gonna play that little horn. Ooh, that's a pretty elegant depression glass piece. Looks like a Fostoria or a Heise pattern. They do want 10 and it's red tag, so I am gonna leave it, but that is a very, very, very pretty candle. Oh, and it's got a friend. It is the pair. I was just going to say it would be better if it was a pair. Unfortunately, you would invest $20 to get that pair. And then there's another set. This has like a wheat etch to it. Again, they're asking 10 and it does, does have its friend right there. Beautiful, beautiful candle holders. Oh wow, there's another one back here too. This is the same etch as that, but it's a different candle holder pattern. Let's put you over here. And you don't have a friend. Ugh, if those were half that price, I would be scooping them up. I love these little vintage flowery bouquet things. Actually, these aren't as vintage. These are reproductions of the old ones. They do want 15 for the baggy full. And then there's these with the pink. Really pretty. 15. Oh, there's a lot of them. 15 a bag. Wow. See, that is a missed opportunity. I do not believe anybody's going to pay 15. They might sell at half price, but more than likely those are going to sell on dollar day for a dollar a baggy. Whereas they could have gotten, you know, maybe even seven or eight dollars now. So when I'm talking about those pricing decisions and like that, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking that they're not actually getting their full, full capacity of what they could by just trying to trying to price just a little bit too high. Hmm. Aw, Maureen's art is still here and still very scratched. All right, I don't see anything in the metal section. So maybe my strategy of coming here this time of day might not be the best one, unless they bring out some carts while we're here, which is a definite possibility. They should be doing that soon. That looks like Pioneer Woman. It is $12.99 red tag. Clear vases are not exciting today. Hmm, okay. Pretty little pot, but it's not old and it's not high end. It's got an interesting texture to it. It's very broken. Can't see if there's something on the bottom there. Ooh, 
Well, let's see. No, I think it's just an older piece that didn't didn't get a name. Hmm. I like these little jars, you know, with the pull little things out. It's a gratitude jar. To let's see, today I will be more aware of my feelings. Oh gosh, no! I don't want to. I've been I've been way too like melancholy lately. I don't want to be more aware of that. Learn a new skill from someone else. Write my family members positive notes. Very cute. Okay, this. It's grabbing my attention. I mean, it's got the schmudge would have to come out. No, okay, it's not as old as I thought it was. Had to look, though. Let's see what we've got over here in the fakeness. It's interesting, but very cheaply made. Very cheaply made. Oh, yeah, there you go. Not fooled by that one. Oh, he's cool. Look at that with a little lizard going up it. They're asking $12.99 though. It's a little more than I can spend on him. Okay. Nothing else in the fakeness today. Let's see if anything snuck into the plastics. It's looking actually pretty empty. Wow. I hope they are going to be bringing out some new carts soon. They must be. They must be. They must be. That would be amazing. All right, glassware. Hmm. Nothing too exciting. Wow, look at all of those blue glasses. It's almost as if those came out of a restaurant because there's so many of them. Or they're a store overstock. That's what it could be, too. Oh, it just occurred to me. I bet you that as they're closing all the dollar stores here in Vegas, a lot of the stuff is going to end up going to Goodwill. Oh, boy. Won't that be special? <laughs> That's a Mikasa piece. Classic elegance. Nightshade. Huh, that's a very pretty pattern. That's just little, just little like Japanese teacups. What are you? Wish I could read what you were. Retron U Arbor Life. Reminds me of Lennox uh, Butterfly Meadows. We just went to the Springs Preserve yesterday and went into the butterfly habitat and it was absolutely awesome. I'm gonna throw some pictures up here on the screen of some of the things that we saw. And uh, I went with both the kids, kinda. I didn't really take a day off because I worked after the fact, but uh, it was a nice day. It was a very nice day. Oh my gosh, there's lots of them. I kind of like the creamer with the dragonfly for 99 cents. I think I will pick that up. Okay, I don't know if you heard all that rattling next to me, but uh, they didn't bring out a cart. They're bringing out a basket at a time and loading the shelves, which is interesting. I've never seen them do that. So there is new stuff coming out onto the shelves I'm gonna have to be wary of, but it's not coming out on a big cart to pick through. What are these little green, little, little greenery volleyballs? What would you use those for? Huh, just little decorative guys? I don't know. That looks like it's a nice pattern. Who makes you Mikasa Platinum? Enchanted Forest Taupe. Ooh, I like the name. I mean, it's just a very detailed, nice pattern. Oh, wow, we've got a nativity. And unfortunately, we've got a lot of bad stuff happening here. Yes, we do got, do got, where did that come from? <laughs> we, we do have the three 
wise men. Okay, I'll call them wise men. Even though I like to call them wise guys, just to be funny. We have Mary and Joseph. And I think we lost a shepherd. I think, yes, this is, this is a shepherd casualty here. And then we have a horse who's not listening to anything. And then of course, we're missing Jesus. All right. Oh, there's more of that pattern. That's what the plates look like. Those are very pretty. I gotta say, I kinda like them. Oh, and there's some dessert plates to go with it too. All right, those are cool. And some bowls. Oh, these are all taped together. They are De La Cal Barrera Puente by, and then there will be something under that. Oh, they're green tag. Green, green was the color, right? Uh, so there'd be $4 for those two plates. Two plates? Yes, two plates. Oh, they did just bring out a cart of stuff. All right, I grabbed a couple things, which I'll show you, but these are the things I'm not grabbing. I thought about the owl. I thought about him. He's cute, but he's not. He's not. He's not exciting enough. And this is all like office supplies. So I think what they were doing before is doing go backs. That's what they were putting back on the shelf. All right, let's look at what I did grab. I grabbed this piece here. It's a really pretty piece of pottery. It is a vase. I haven't looked at the bottom yet. Let's see. No signature, but it's got all the makings of a really nice piece and it is 10 bucks. So I'm gonna grab that. And two of these little chalkware fish plaques. Wish there was a third. I wish we had a third of friend, but uh, it's $2 for that one and $3 for that one. So $5 for the set. All right, now we're in the kitchen section here. Hopefully we can find some useful things. <laughs> Melamine uh, salad spoon and fork. Thought it was a spoon rest at first, which is why I grabbed it, but it was not a spoon rest. That's a pretty picture under there. Let's look at you. You are created in Japan, something, something. Indigo Flower Collection, $7.99. Don't think I want to be at $7.99 on it. Oh, <laughs> he's attached. BLT Dip, Go Hog Wild, Bacon, Mayonnaise, Sour Cream, One Tomato Peeled, Seeded, and Diced. Drain the bacon. I, what am I missing here? Uh, serve with toast, bread, or crack. Oh, so you put your, okay, and then it's a, got it, got it. I am sure someone will get that and have some fun with it. I had a very good BLT yesterday. We ate at the cafe at the Springs Preserve. Springs Preserve is kind of one of those little, uh, it's a little hidden gem. If you come to Vegas, it's off the strip. It has museums that includes a few little native uh, species of animals and bugs and lizards. <laughs> um, but it is mostly the, just the botanicals and, and in conservation and and all of that. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a nice day. It is a really nice, peaceful day to go to the Springs Preserve. Yes, this did not go unmissed. I thought it was salt and pepper, but it's not salt and pepper. It is just, it's just a little figurine. The shell, I could leave. I thought they were salt and peppers and I'd have to buy them both, but I think I will grab me a little, a little turtle. What is this sitting over here? Just waiting to be found. Wow, this just came out yesterday. That is 
uh, inverted thumbprint and an amber for eight dollars with no damage. Um, yes. What are you? Oh, it's those football, football guys. Do you want to decorate? Cricket stuff, foil transfer sheets. I know some of you really love this stuff. <gasps> These shelves are so empty. Where's all the stuff? Ooh, little torture devices. See, these were supposed to be so comfortable to sleep in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we've been we've been lied to for a very long time about so many things. All right, let's head over to the lamps here. I see I love a lava lamp, but it's missing its top part. That lava looks a little suspicious like it's not gonna, you know, lava anymore. I'm not opposed to selling lava lamps. They just need to really be worth the hassle factor. And then let's look through the art. I'm gonna just stand back and walk through and I'm looking, I'm peeking at the edges of the frames. It's mostly what I'm kind of looking to call to me for vintage or if there's some color peeking out that looks interesting but nothing's really grabbing me here. I always give a peek through the furniture and the big stuff. I don't actually okay. know why because I don't okay. know what I would do if I actually found something I really wanted. It's just like it would have to be really really special because the hassle of trying to get it home but fortunately nothing tempted me today. Okay, we're gonna peek through the textiles. Tea towels sometimes can surprise you with the prices they bring. So I'm always looking for some cute little vintage tea towels, placemats, tablecloths, those kind of things. But there's nothing exciting today, unfortunately. And the pillows are a little lackluster today as well. So I found these crazy shoes in the kids department, but they are a women's eight. They are daddy's money and they're in really good condition. Now the problem is someone has ripped out the tag and I don't know how much they are. They sell for 35 to $40. So if I could get them for under, say, 12 bucks, I would be all about it. And I would send these in to my new listing fulfillment service that I'm using for things like this. Again, if you want more information on that, please reach out to me in email, because then that way I can connect you with the person running the service. But, uh, at, oh, and my email, thenichelady at gmail.com. Uh, but these are interesting and I'm going to find out how much they are. And I've had people asking me like, Danny, you know how to list, you know how to do all that. Why would you pay somebody to do that? Honestly, because there's not enough of me to go around and I don't want to hire employees again. And I hear this from a lot of people that don't want to hire an employee. This is, this is how you grow. This is how you expand. Basically that kind of becomes my employee, but they're not, it's a service. But you get what I'm saying? Uh, so instead of having to go through all of that and schedules and having somebody come to my house and do all that, I just send it off in a box. It gets listed. I still have control over the, the listing, the price, accepting offers. I have control over all of that. I just don't have the workload. It's why you search in every department. And I do look in the toys. This is a sealed Springbok puzzle for $2.99. That is uh, Tchaikovsky's, Tchaikovsky's, is that how you say that? The Nutcracker. Wait, there's two price. Oh, came from Savers for $2.99. Leave it to Goodwill to up the price of it to uh, $3.99. It's still, it's a $20 puzzle all day long, maybe even a little more. I did just find this amazing, is, is that brocade? Is that what you call that fabric? Anyway, 
Uh, this is an equestrian jacket, meaning this is what someone would wear to a horse show. It is made by the Hobby Horse Clothing Company, made in USA. I do believe it's actually vintage too. Uh, very, very expensive jacket, so I will pay the $10 for that baby. I also found this cutie. I actually am going to offer this to Rachel, but she may or may not want it. Uh, it's a brand called Primp, and they, they sell pretty decently, and it's little horseshoes with little hearts. It's really, it's really quite adorable. Oh yeah, it is $5.99. We are running back over here because they just wheeled out another cart. And we're going to scope it out. Dishes little shelves. Oh, little baseball stool. All right. Nothing too exciting. I do see the rooster. He's eight bucks and he's a newer piece so we're gonna leave him. Yeah, I must still do a little more shopping. Yeah. So this is cute, actually the little wood beads. Oh, it's green tag too, so it's only two bucks. Yep, we'll grab that one. This one is plastic. Okay, that's going back. That's interesting. It's 250. I do like some of the beads in that. Okay, I'll get that one too. Oh, they're little flecks of confetti. For a minute, I thought those might have snuck in as amber, but those not. Those are going back. Mm -hmm. We've got cute I'll little, right you, you go cute little wood bracelets, but I've got plenty of those for now. That's plastic. That's no. These are little glass beads on this. What is this? Five dollars for this one? Oh, oh, it's long too. Look at that. Okay, that one's a yes. Trying to figure out if those are plastic or stone because they're cool to the touch. And they're on like just cord though. You know what, for two bucks, we'll get it. I looked over and there was like nobody checking out so it was my opportunity to get to the jewelry. So I snagged some pieces like really quick. Okay, now we're over at the purses. That's interesting. Betsy Johnson. Yeah, I had a feeling with that bow that that was Betsy. 40 bucks. Oh, it's very well worn. Very well worn. I'm not sure that would even bring 40 on eBay. Let's see. Getting ready to do a boho sale next week as I'm filming this. I'm not sure when this will come out, if it's before or after that sale. But the cool thing is you can still go check out the collection. You can go watch the video. You can see the things. It's not like a high pressure sale, you know, so lots of things are still available even after the sale. And there's always a special perk that we do for 24 hours after the broadcast where we go live uh, so that's over on the niche shopping network if you haven't gone and checked that out that's where all of my live sales happen now that's charming charlie that's really cute so i don't do those on my channel here anymore there is a new channel called the niche shopping network it's myself dawn of hudson vintage and some other friends that we're adding that you may recognize okay i think that's gonna do it for me we're gonna head to the checkout. Stay tuned for a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
right, I got all my goodies in the car, including that gorgeous vase. I can't believe that's not signed. So uh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys, every Tuesday over on the Niche Shopping Network, I do, it's kind of like a live haul. It's a live, but the items are for sale. Everything that I bought in the previous videos up to each Tuesday, I will go over them in bigger detail. I can answer questions. We can talk about reselling if you'd like. We can just hang out and have some fun. But I do have all the items that I have purchased over the previous week that I bring and, and they're all cleaned up and I've now researched them and I know a little bit more and all of that. So I hope you will join me over on the Knit Shopping Network on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific time. It's a thing now. And now, I'm off to get some shipping done. You, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.